there still could be a sense of something is emitting some sort of a frequency that is somehow alienating others, but especially others that seem evil, easily corrupted, those that think that they are of a certain level of purity, but maybe there's a reason why some of those people would be preferred by uh, the fallen deities of this world. Maybe certain bloodlines are easier to control, and maybe when things are changed and things are less pure and wild card genetics, mixed race, are introduced, then that body has a chance to break free. Then that mind has a chance to break free from the body programming. So then on the other hand, there could be a whole group of people that are of a dominant line that can be thus programmed, i.e. another level of collective targeted individual on a body sensation level that I've never seen anyone talk about on YouTube. How, how collective genetics can be targeted by these fallen deities to engage in a race war or genocide against others of the actual real target group. And they can actually create propaganda to tell the people that are doing the bombing, bombing and targeting that they are the targets, that they're going to be all gone in 20 years, when they could actually be the majority in major U.S. cities. Oh, they can have their ghettos full of minorities where some whites feel like they're the only ones from their level and their little ant position down here, they see themselves as being wiped out and white genocided from their position here because of how the world events were manufactured. When in the greater reality is a coalition of nations are bombing certain nations back to the Stone Age so the next generation won't fight them and won't even be alive. They'll take a few people in just like the larger scheme of things and dump them into European countries just to create animosity. They could even do certain things like pay certain people to create certain crimes, like maybe sexual assaults. So all these other people could be demonized. Now also pay attention to the news that there's disinformation about some elements of the caravan being all male. All male. And so you can literally have an uproar of men in this country that don't like to see men demonized, but they will stop short of the men standing together. And so they'll be like, oh yeah, well, fuck those men, but these men over here are like supermen, superior men, men that can do no wrong. But these men are here, these men always do wrong. Those men, those men over the wall, the barbarian men, they always do wrong. They have bad seeds. And so, like, men, as a group being demonized, will be effectively demonized, including white men, and towards themselves, because they cannot see beyond the illusions of separation of the other men that are demonized, whether they be black or whether they be Jew. Also, there are many blacks that remain in slavery because they are unable to see the racism towards others. There are very few people that I know of that find my work that are African-American or black, even fewer that stay. I'm not sure what they think I am when they first find me and say something complimentary and what it is that triggers them. Uh, but clearly, my attempt to go beyond the illusions of separation and to explain to people what anti-themism, which is a greater force of destruction than just simply white supremacy, because I, you know, I'm attracted to a lot of blacks, black speakers online, the things that they say. But then... They'll stop short, a lot of them, of talking about the POC people of color. Nellie Foley Jr. will expose white supremacy without engaging in stepping on all white people. I encourage you, whatever your ethnicity, to kick back and enjoy the works of Nellie Fuller Jr. Will I hear 